Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about understanding big code bases. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, could you make a video on what techniques you could use to understand a big, a new and big code base? Is there something that helped you personally? And the short answer is yes, I can do that. So my personal favorite trick to understand a new code base is first and foremost to have a walkthrough. Like it's that's very important. You need some. Uh, you need to understand the business model a little bit. You need a, a, ideally any sane CTO or tech company with any type of leadership. Uh, I'm I'm being a little bit careful here because this may not always be true especially not in consultancies and smaller companies and smaller projects. But ideally, you should have some eagle eye view diagram or something over the services that you have in that system. Ideally, there should be someone or a few people at the very least that has the combined domain knowledge of the entire system. And you need to figure out who these people are as quickly as humanly possible. That's the uh, that's where your soft skills are going to be so helpful. If you can get connected or find a buddy or someone at the company who can put you into touch with people, it's a little bit like politics in many ways. You want to create relationships with people who have assets that you're looking for. And in this case, it's knowledge assets, assets <laughs> and domain knowledge and stuff like that. So you want to get there, there as quickly as possible so that you can get an introduction to different parts of the system. And then you ideally want a walkthrough of just the base features like the crowning or the crown features, the ones that are making the biggest difference, the things that are the most common. So you get a holistic picture. That's number one. When it goes, and then of course getting help with setting everything up and like knowing where all the repositories are. Let's just assume that all this is done, right? And then when you sit by yourself, I find it to be extremely helpful, of course, to have a local version or something you can play around with, which is, I hope, a given. But once you do start playing around with things, always think about features, since we're doing this in web, as a tree of events. And each feature is almost always tied into a URL, an endpoint somewhere on the server. Which means that if you have a feature that you want to understand how it works, let's say for the sake of argument, which is usually the case, because the, the way it usually goes is that you get an onboarding period of I don't know how, how long, you get all your stuff set up, your workstation is up and running, and then you get your first task. And your first task may include, may include something, ideally it should be feature related, and if it is, you will most likely be asked to either build something new or modify something that is existing. It's something that's part of something else, right? And when you do that, you're going to be forced to start looking into, all right, what are the existing features? Like how do I, create things, how do I create resources, how do I get information, how do I modify these resources and so forth. And all of these things are usually UI related and they're usually related to an endpoint. So you start at the endpoint, you do the thing and you just check on in your network tab, okay, let's say for the sake of argument, you wanted to buy a product. All right, so I put a product in my purchase car. cart. Which endpoint did I hit? All right, that's the endpoint that I hit go to the server, search for that endpoint, and start at that endpoint, and then start going through from the top of the network call all the way through until you hit the database. And you can kind of just see, okay, so these are the services that are involved, like these are the functions and so forth, and these are like, just start walking through it. And that is, at least for me, that's my absolute favorite thing to do whenever I'm like a little bit uncertain about a feature. The worst thing you can do, like in my, if, if you ask me, the absolute worst thing you can do is to just dive in into the middle of stuff and just look at random files. Stuff like just looking at different classes or objects or services and so forth and just walk without any purpose. That's not, it's not going to stick with you because, yeah, well, it might, but I find at the very least that it's usually easier to teach somebody something and myself as well if it's tied into something that I, I am purpose driven. I have a purpose. I need to figure out how this feature works because if I don't, I won't be able to build that 
add-on feature or if you should modify it or I won't be able to create this new thing that I'm actually building but if you're just like willy-nilly reading code it's gonna go in one ear and go out the other most likely it's very similar to just aimlessly watching tutorials over and over and over you're not actually it's it's not that easy for people to just retain information when there's no sense of relevancy to something concrete that you're doing. That's at least, I mean, that's at least my experience. So what I want you to take away from this is that my favorite tip for dealing with things such as uh, learning a new code base is just to take a long hard look at the endpoints. Use a feature, like get an introduction first and foremost. Once the introduction is done, go and like just play around with the system. And when you get to the part that is relevant for you, look where the endpoint is actually going, where is the network call going, and go to that endpoint on the server and start walking through until you actually find the pieces of logic that are relevant to the feature that you're actually going to work on. And then just repeat that process as much as possible and ideally make friends within the company with people who have domain knowledge. You're going to have a lot of questions and it's always easier to get an introduction to a piece of code that is a little bit arcane for you than it is to reverse, uh, reverse engineer the thing by yourself. It, if at all possible, get an introduction to things that seem really alien to you. Have a great day.